Hey guys, Dave here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this wall run in Unity. Yeah, I use it in pretty much every game, so here's the tutorial, finally. But before we start, let me quickly show you the wall run in play mode. As you can see, it's a pretty basic wall run, except that you have two options to jump off a wall. I'll explain how they work later, but for now, they allow you to perfectly jump between walls, or also do stuff like this. The script works easily together with any other rigid body movement, like Danny's grappling gun for example, and it also allows you to wall run on slightly tilted walls, and if you're skilled enough you can even change directions while wall running, or also jump over a wall and hit it again from the other side. And now to coding. You should already have at least a basic rigid body movement script. If you don't have one yet, I would recommend getting Danny's or the one I made. I also started with Danny's code, but as you can see, I changed and added a ton of stuff. Anyway, let's make a few variables, like a layer mask for your walls, floats for your wall run force, max wall run time and max wall run speed. Also booleans if there is a wall on your right or left side and if you're currently wall running. And a float for your max camera tilt and camera tilt. Next, you need to add the functions, one for your wall run input, two for the start and stop of your wall run, and also a function to check if there is a wall next to you. Then make sure to call the check for wall and your wall run input function in void update. And I forgot to mention, you need to have an orientation variable, but that's really just an empty game object as child of your player object. Also, you should have a reference to your rigid body and player camera. Now, inside of your check for wall function set is wall right equals to physic.raycast, using your current position as a start point, orientation.right as the direction, one as the length, and what is wall as the layer mask. Copy this line, change from right to left and also make the orientation dot right negative, which just makes it left. Inside of your input function check if you're holding down D and if there is a wall on your right, and if so you want to start your wall run. Copy this line, change D to A and right to left. In the start wall run function you need to deactivate your rigid body's gravity and set is wall running to true. Copy this down to your stop wall run function and make it exactly the other way around. Now before you add any force to your rigid body, make sure to check if your current velocity is less than your maximum velocity, so as soon as you reach the maximum velocity it will stop pushing you forward. Then you can add forward force to your rigid body. Also, you want your character to stick to the wall. That can be done by adding a bit of force to the left when the wall is on the left side and of course also the other way around. Now currently this wall run would never be stopped. To change this go inside your check for wall function and say if there is no wall on your right and no wall on your left, which would be after you jumped off, then you want to stop the wall run. And if you want to have a double jump after every wall run, make sure to do that here. Of course only if your script has a double jump. Now for the two different jump offs, let me quickly explain how they work. So let's say there is a wall left to you and you're holding down A to wall run. If you now tap jump, your character should jump upwards. But if you also hold down D and then tap jump, your character should do a wall hop to the wall on the right. No matter what script you're using, you probably have a jump function. If you're grounded, you want to do your normal jump. If you're not grounded, your double jump. And if you're wall running, exactly what I just explained. If the wall is on your left and you're not holding down D, make your normal jump. If the wall is on your left and you are holding down D, add force to the right and even a bit of downward force. 
Of course, do the same thing if there is a wall on your right, but just the other way around. And no matter which of the two jumps you're doing, I would always add a bit of forward force. And you don't have to do the rest here, that's just bug fixing for my script. Now the camera tilt. I know, it, it looks a bit messy, but no worries, it's really not that complicated. Actually, let's remove this for now so I can explain better. This code is basically just saying, if your current wall run camera tilt is less than the maximum and you are wall running and there is a wall on your right side, the camera tilt should increase until it reaches the maximum, which means your camera is getting slightly tilted. And the same goes for the other side, but now your camera tilt should decrease. Now set your player.transform.localrotation equal to quaternion.euler, whatever your x is, whatever your y is, and then use your wall run camera tilt as z. That will just make sure that your camera really gets rotated. Now you're nearly done guys. Just make sure that after you left the wall, that means is wall right and is wall left is false, you should rotate your camera back to zero. I know, there would be much cleaner solutions for this, but it works. And now thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to do that because there will be a lot more cool tutorials on this channel. You can find the code I used in the description and if you join my discord channel you can even download the whole project file for free. And once again, if you have any questions, just write a comment and I'll answer you. Have a nice day.